life and property but of course uh, we are so concerned with reports this could have been deliberately lit. Our focus is on making sure the fire is contained and protecting all the people and their properties who live in and around uh, those suburbs and those communities but of course there'll be a full investigation and I think uh, the community would deem it absolutely unforgivable if this fire was deliberately lit. It's absolutely a miracle that overnight uh, no one has been reported as having serious injury and hundreds and hundreds of properties have been saved. So that is a huge relief. Uh, it's not every day that in April uh, you, you hear that a fire is started in Kasula and is threatening homes in such close proximity to our suburbs. This is not something that happens uh, every day. Uh, very unusual circumstances. The wind conditions plus the unusually high temperatures in April have... Right, that's... Yeah, put that to one side. Okay, thank you. It is unseasonally hot. Uh, and uh, that is a, that's a matter of, of obviously of, of great concern, but we have to uh, uh, deal with uh, the worst that Mother Nature can throw at us and the, the worse uh, Australians are presented with by nature, the better it brings out the Australian spirit, the selflessness, the courage, the, prof the professionalism and the mateship, and that's what the uh, firefighters are showing, the volunteers, and the full-time 
firefighters working together uh, with the ADF and others and the community. Great solidarity and I want to thank them again for that uh, terrific mateship bringing out the very best in the Australian spirit when nature flings her worst at us. The fire has once again been elevated to an emergency warning alert status and that's because we are seeing the fire behave uh, very aggressively. It's spreading uh, to the east and to the north uh, and that's resulted in a number of emergency alerts being issued uh, to independent, uh, different communities uh, that are likely to be...